Hey guys, so deliveries of Highland is coming up and major parts of the world such as Hong Kong, Thailand and China is expected to get their delivery dates in the next week or so. Now, if you guys haven't watched my previous videos, I counted down five things that have changed from when the Highland was first announced up to this very point right here. So if you guys have missed that, go check it out because I do think that's very important to know. Ultimately, those five things alone might sway you from buying the vehicle or push you towards it so you guys don't want to miss that out i'll drop a link in the description below and right up top there so do click that link but here is something you guys might have glanced over when just looking at the highland as a whole this very thing is quite substantial i think substantial enough that tesla in china is actually setting up events just to showcase this one very feature believe it or not this whole event that the tesla showroom has set up is based off of a five second drive driving over a single speed bump it might just sound mind-boggling at first that anybody would want to come to this event but on Weibo there is a video surfacing now that Tesla showrooms are allowing people to sit inside of the passenger seat of the very new Highlands and simply backing up and then driving over one single speed bump now the entire thing could take approximately 30 seconds long but people are lining up to test this out versus their very own vehicle and to them it's quite substantial from the reactions we're seeing of the people inside of the vehicle what i'm talking about here is the brand new suspension that is going inside of the new model threes i would personally dub these the comfort suspension that we've been seeing inside of the model y's however if we start to put things into perspective and going from the model y with essentially no suspension at all or at least what it feels like and then going to the new comfort suspension that we just recently got in the new 2023 models we're not going to see it on that same level this is more of a gradual one just because the model 3 never had a bad suspension to begin with the suspension on the model 3 was actually fantastic now the reason to this is because the model 3 was based on its own platform whereas the model y was essentially a shell slapped onto the exact same frame that means that there is an increase in body weight overall on the exact same platform same suspension same everything else so it just really couldn't handle it and it made us feel what it seemed like no suspension mention at all now i felt this firsthand with my vehicle and man it was a really rough ride and when i went to test drive a brand new model y of this year my goodness that thing was a dream so if you guys weren't aware tesla released a video recently touching up upon the new suspensions of the highland vehicles however they didn't go in depth about what was going on but one thing that they did mention was that the new model 3 was able to maintain its agile nature but at the very same time time give us a more comfort and premium feel this overall is just so positive because people buying within this segment are looking for more of a premium and luxury feel without having to go for the top end model s's and x's so yeah this update is overall going to give us a much softer feel over bumps and minor imperfections on the road and it will still keep the exact same feel and bring over what it is on the current model threes on the exact same tracks now that's at least what we're told but we'll finally find out when the first few deliveries come off the line and that is going to be happening very soon in the next week or so according to tesla in hong kong so yeah i am extremely excited about this everything so far about highland just makes it so much better every single day every single update that we've been getting and i can't wait to get my hands on it and i'm sure a lot of you guys have been holding out in getting your model 3 right now and holding off a few more weeks to get the highland Highland is just the best of all worlds. I know the discounts are fantastic right now and I don't want to push you guys away from that if that is what you guys are going for. But if you want the latest and greatest, you're going to have to wait for the Highland with everything we've been talking about so far. A few more things that I am super stoked about is the new drive units that's going into the standard range and the performance models. If you guys aren't aware of that and what they did to the new Model Y standard range, go check out my video because that is really substantial it dropped a 
full one second from its zero to 60. So that's gonna be ported over to the Model 3 very soon as well. And to wrap it all up, we do know about the Blade Battery LFP models coming out of Berlin right now. So if you guys want a much longer range, better performance overall, and all of the goodies on the inside, make sure you guys wait for that. I will continue to update you guys as much as I can. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, and follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. That's where I'll be able to discuss with you guys freely outside of YouTube. Now, before we end this video, I thought I'd just add this in. But as you guys can see, don't have my AirPods on right now. So everything is coming out of the microphone on the camera. Let me know how the audio quality is for now. In the next two weeks, I will be moving into my studio. And there's going to be much better audio and visual for you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned. This is it. This is John once again. Peace out.